A Superior Court of Guam Grand Jury has issued an indictment for 54-year-old Antonia Mayo Sinicolis. The former Gura housing specialist, also known as Tony Mayo, recently resigned from her position amid allegations of fraud. A joint investigation was launched earlier this year by HUD's Inspector General's Office, the FBI, and the Attorney General of Guam after a tip was received that Mayo was allegedly soliciting a bribe from a Section 8 client. Mayo had been working at Gura for more than 10 years. Mayo, along with Matus Johnson and Albert Salas Buendicho, are listed as defendants on the indictment. Mayo is being charged for receiving a bribe from three individuals for certification for Section 8 eligibility. She's also being charged for theft by deception by obtaining payments from two of those individuals by promising to have someone at Revan Tax fix their taxes so they could be eligible for Section 8 assistance. Matis Johnson is listed as one of the Section 8 recipients involved and is being charged for giving bribes. He's also being charged for obstructing government function for telling federal agents untruthful statements when contacted by Mayo after she was told not to contact any Section 8 recipients who paid her a bribe. As for Buendicho, he is named as taking part in the bribery scheme. He was charged earlier this week with guilt established by complicity to receiving a bribe and conspiracy. In response to the investigation and the allegations of fraud, Gura Executive Director Michael Duenas says ethics workshops for every division within Gura, along with its board and senior managers, were underway. Last month, Section 8 staff were also being trained on prevention and detection of fraud, abuse and waste. The HUD, IG and the FBI are expected to follow up on their investigation later this month. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.